Greetings and welcome to the wonders that exist in this moment. Thank you for joining us at Unity Chicago South today. Let's center ourselves. Just for today, we will keep our minds filled with possibilities, not obstacles. We will keep our conversations filled with the good we deserve and watch this goodness engulf us. Just for today, nothing will be impossible. I am Reverend Dr. Stephanie Wilson Coleman, and it is a pleasure to be here today. This month, as we celebrate the spiritual principle understanding, my message as always is intended to be a message of hope, one that will inspire you to rethink what is possible for your life. In the Metaphysical Dictionary, Charles Fillmore defines spiritual understanding as the ability of the mind to apprehend and realize the laws of thought and the relation of ideas one to another. Proverbs 4th chapter 7th verse says, the beginning of wisdom is this, get wisdom, though it cost you all you have, get understanding. Proverbs 16 chapter 16 verse says, how much better to get wisdom than gold and to get understanding rather than silver. Understanding is also the ability to interpret or view in a particular way, the ability to know, perceive, and apprehend. To make it more personal, understanding is also the ability to receive information or knowledge about our personal experiences. It allows us to put action with our prayers and to question old habits and outdated beliefs that may be keeping us stuck. Sometimes we use the terms wisdom and understanding interchangeably, but unity reminds us that wisdom is the pure knowing, while understanding knows the what. Society has trained us to ask why. However, it has been proven that why questions keep us looking in the rearview mirror of our lives. Also asking why questions can get us trapped in an alternate universe. And frankly, we often don't have enough information to answer the why. So we sometimes create scenarios that don't even exist. Understanding begins with questioning the what we expect to achieve. In the structure of our society, many consider understanding as a weakness which often results in not having a good understanding of ourselves, our actions, or our lives. Learning how to give yourself permission to be more understanding to yourself is paramount because charity must begin at home. You cannot give to others what you cannot provide to yourself. So how do we use the spiritual principle understanding? This principle is awakened with questioning. This means questioning everything, even that which we take for granted. Being self-aware is an important part of our lives. It forces us to look at ourselves objectively and make changes as needed. Self-reflection requires us to take time to give serious thought to our behaviors, thoughts, attitudes, motivations, and desires. This is the process that will help us identify the what behind our actions. This deep dive helps identify any adjustments needed. This helps us retain every aspect of any experience. It clarifies our thinking. It helps us in determining what really matters to us. Without self-reflection, we just move from one experience to another without identifying what is working and what is not working. Unfortunately, we end up stuck and beseeching the universe to help us and promising, if you get me out of this this time, I will never do this again. However, we're doomed to repeat this pattern until we are clear as to its cause, clear about its what. 
we will just keep doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. Self-reflection is an important step to living the life you dream about and should be practiced regularly, at least once a month. I actually recommend that you do this weekly. When self-reflecting, we often ask ourselves the following questions. Do I use my time wisely? Do I wake up in the morning ready to take on the day? If not, why? Am I living true to myself? Am I allowing matters that are out of my control to cause me stress? And am I putting enough effort into achieving the goals I have set for myself? Am I choosing goals that matter or goals that are an easy win? Of course, the answer is yes. But when we turn these questions into what questions, this answer will discover the fuel that powers your imagination and helps you achieve your goals. So ask the questions this way. What matters in my life the most? What's most important to me now? What am I doing about the things that matter most in my life? What can I arrange in my daily schedule to make time for what matters most to me? What can I start to do to be true to myself? What do I need to change so I can wake up in the morning ready to take on the day? What are the situations that make me feel terrible and what do they have in common? What steps can I take to eliminate or transform these situations? What five things can I do today toward achieving my goals? What five things can I do every day for the next 30 days to achieve my goals? And what questions do I have that I need answers to now? A monk slowly walks along a road when he hears the sound of a galloping horse. He turns around to see a man riding a horse moving toward his direction. The man reaches closer. The monk asks, where are you going? To which the man replies, I don't know, ask the horse. And he rides away. The moral of the story is the horse in the story represents your subconscious mind. The subconscious mind runs on past conditioning. It is nothing but a computer program. And if you're lost in the program, the program controls you and leads you wherever it feels like. When you become self-aware, you start to become aware of your programs and you start looking at them objectively. Once you become aware of the program, you start to control the program and not the other way around. When you unconsciously hold on to your beliefs, you become rigid and closed, not allowing your mind to learn or your consciousness to expand. The path to self-realization is to stay conscious of your beliefs and always be open to learning. Jesus was very aware of his purpose. During his wilderness experience, Jesus was tempted to use his power to relieve his hunger. He was tempted to jump from the mountain and rely on the angels to break his fall. He was even tempted to worship Satan, which is the metaphysical definition for universal negative power. Jesus understood who he was and his purpose while on earth. No matter the experience, he did not waver. His core belief in the divine mind was unshakable. Even with his strong belief, though, Jesus had questions and went apart from others from contemplation. On your journey to your own self-discovery and self-awareness, regularly ask questions of yourself. Here are a few I recommend. What are my top five most deeply held core values? How does my life currently align with these values? Which ones am I ignoring? Which ones am I not ignoring? What value do I bring to the world? And hit the answer is not nothing. What situations make me feel terrible and what do they have in common? What negative thoughts arise and how do I deal with them? What can I do to change the things happening in the world around me? 
How do I contribute to those things? What am I to learn from those things? Margaret Wheatley says, without reflection, we go blindly on our way, creating more unintended consequences and failing to achieve anything useful. Jadu Krishnamurti says, if you begin to understand what you are without trying to change it, then what you are undergoes a transformation. Marie Curry says, nothing in life is to be feared. It is only to be understood. So now is the time to understand more so that we may become fearless or start to fear less. The techniques I share will help you to hacking into your subconscious mind, writing your thoughts, ideas, and engaging and understanding yourself is the portal between the world of the subconscious mind and the world of matter. True story. Jim Carrey and the $10 million check. This is one of my favorite stories. Jim Curry didn't exactly grow up in the richest families. As a matter of fact, his family was fairly poor. While Carey was struggling to find work in 1985, he wrote himself a $10 million check for acting services rendered. He dated it 10 years in the future and he kept it in his wallet. And every day he would look at that check in his wallet. For the next 10 years, he did stand up. He took roles in a lot of movies that didn't do well. He even moved from Canada to the United States and became, and became a United States citizen. He worked like it depended on him and believed like it all depended on the creator. He consistently updated his material and improved his abilities so that he was offering his best to the marketplace at all times. In November, 1995, Carrie found out that he was cast in the movie Dom and Dumber for, you guessed it, $10 million. As Sir John Hargrave says, until it's on paper, it's vapor. Hargrave says the obvious yet often underutilized practice of writing down our ideas, thoughts, and resolutions is a game changer. Imagination is a creative power that is necessary for inventing. And understanding is also the ability to receive information or knowledge about our personal experiences. It allows us to put action with our prayers and to question old habits and again, outdated beliefs so we can achieve that we truly desire. Now let's become still. In this moment, focus on your spiritual gift of divine understanding for insights into your daily journal. If you're not sure of the path to take or which decisions to make or what words to say, just allow spiritual understanding to guide your mind and heart. Use this faculty of understanding to see beyond human appearances and into the light of truth. Be grateful for the gifts, the joys, and the presence of the divine in every event or circumstance. It matters not how straight the gate, how charged with punishment the scroll. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. Trust your greatness. Namaste.